Hey everybody, Chris here, coming to show you some more yard sale, thrift store finds. Uh, I had plans to go to the flea market, but um, it it rained just a tiny little bit uh, Sunday morning, I think before they even opened, so they just decided to not open, and uh, it was the last day of the year, so uh, no more flea market stuff. Also Saturday, I played a show with my band in Connecticut, uh, about two hours away, so I didn't end up getting to go to any yard sales on Saturday. So I managed to go to a few on Sunday in place of uh, in place of the flea market. But most of this is going to be uh, just thrift store stuff. Uh, so let's uh, start over here. Got a couple of Sony Walkmans. Uh, the one on the right, I probably shouldn't have picked up. It's only about like $12, $15. The one on the left should get 30 to 40 And then I picked up the first boombox. Uh, I've ever tried to sell. It's a Sony sports model. Uh, it's one of the ones you can put on its side as well to play music up. Uh, I paid ten dollars for it. Uh, I think the lowest it's going on Amazon is like two hundred bucks, but um, maybe eBay it's more of like a fifty to a hundred dollar one. Uh, next to that, uh, Sunday morning I went to this little tiny uh, little yard sale this auction company was having. Um, got a Yu-Gi-Oh dual disc. It's missing the wrist guard underneath, but uh, I paid eight bucks. Um, last one I sold was for 160 or 170. Probably try and get like 140 or 150 for this one, uh, since it's missing that piece. I got uh, another copy of Snorta. I think this might be the third week in a row. Probably gonna stop picking them up because I haven't sold either of the other ones. Um, it's complete. I uh, don't quite remember how much I paid for it. It was probably only two or three bucks. Over here, I got a copy of Flux at uh, Salvation Army. I think it's, yeah, 3.1. It's sealed. Probably somewhere between 10 and 50. I know that's super vague, but uh, I'm not really sure. Um, usually, Flux new, I think, is only about a f 10 to $15 game, but uh, this one is out of print. But not too sure how desirable it is. Um, Next to that, this is probably probably some of my best finds of the week. Um, same thrift store. I got these two little stacks. Um, this one I went to earlier in the week. Got a Shadow Squadron for 32x. Um, paid two dollars and forty nine cents for each one of these. Um, so I think it's about a fifteen dollar game. Um, Cosmic Carnage. Uh, I thought it was more than it was. Um, I think it's only about a five dollar game. Exo Squad and The Adventures of Batman and Robin. There were a bunch of other 32x and Genesis games, but they were all just kind of whatever. Uh, Batman was probably the most. I think that's like 15 maybe. Um, and then I went back yesterday, Sunday, and uh, they had a bunch of Game Boy games. So these were each 249 each as well. Got Yoshi, Mortal Kombat, Kirby's Dream Land 2, uh, Link's Awakening, Mega Man. Mega Man 2 and Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. So, um, yeah, uh, I think these two are probably worth the most. These are about $15. Um, and these two are close to that as well. Um, surprisingly, the Mega Man games don't go for too much. Um, definitely would have been better if it was the original Nintendo counterparts, but, um, still, I think about $10, maybe $15 each. Um, also at the thrift stores, um, got this at Goodwill. I think this is four ninety nine, maybe even five ninety nine. But I had a ten percent off at Super Mario sixty four DS. Um, it's about eleven twelve dollar game. This I definitely paid too much for, but I didn't want to leave it. Uh, Nine ninety nine at the bookstore. Uh, Parasite Eve. It's missing the manual, but um, I think disc only. It's it's about ten bucks, but uh, it has the case. In the art. I'm hoping to get like 18 to 20. Um, also at the bookstore, 9.99 Evil Within for PS3. I have it for PS4. I haven't really played it much. I liked it, but um, I just have so many games I haven't really gotten around to. But uh, I'll probably hold on to that. These were at Savers. I think these are all. This is 3.99 Dreamfall. It's about a $10 game. Uh, Portal 2. This is 4.99. But I already sold it for I think 11. Uh, Fighters on Caged. I only got this because it was on shrink wrap. Um, I'm finally starting to send things into Fulfilled by Amazon. So uh, this, I think, 
probably get ten dollars by myself, but if I send it in there, it'll go for eighteen. But you know, fees and all that. And actually, earlier in the week, I picked up this as well uh, at the bookstore, Castlevania: Curse of Darkness. This was three forty nine. Um, I think it's about twelve fifteen dollar game right now. Uh, no manual. This was, I think, the only yard sale stuff I actually picked up Sunday. Uh, I got these four games for ten bucks. I guess. I should have just went here first because I knew they had video games and I knew other people probably wouldn't be out. But um, I had I decided to try the flea market, but it you know ended up being closed as I said. Uh, so four games, ten bucks. Got Animal Crossing Wild World, Sims 2, uh, a PAL version of Doshin the Giant, which I don't even think was released here. I want to say it was a Nintendo 64 uh, Double D game. And they ported it to GameCube, but uh, yeah, never had a U.S. release. Uh, looking online, this is going from anywhere from 15 to like 80 dollars. So um, I'll probably stack it on the high end with Christmas coming up. And then Star Wars Jedi Outcast Jedi Knight 2 for GameCube. I think this is about 20 bucks. There is a decent size scratch on it though, so definitely have to check that out. And then uh, somehow I missed this last week. Uh, I guess it was just behind the pile of stuff I mentioned. Uh, it's a Nintendo Wii, but it's one of those, uh, it's one of the newer ones that doesn't have the GameCube stuff on top. Uh, I didn't realize they made that. I knew the Wii Mini didn't have the GameCube stuff, but I didn't realize they had a black one that didn't have it. Uh, so it came with that stuff. Um, I paid $24.99. Uh, it's, been a few, it's been almost two weeks now, so I can't quite remember. Um, I think I might have also had a game inside. Uh, I don't really remember now, sorry. And then last, uh, this stuff I got at uh, a couple different trips to Goodwill Outlet. I mainly went there to get CD cases and uh, blank CDs. I'm not going to show you guys that stuff because you know what it looks like. But um, this is what else I got. Uh, I got an Olympus. Um, Pearl quarter, micro cassette, voice recorder. You know, it goes for about thirty bucks. Uh, I got this. I uh, got this book. Um, it's about a twenty dollar book. Got a couple sealed cassettes. Um, Blues Clues for Game Boy Color. Virtua Cop, which says do not, uh, not for resale on it. So I'm not sure if it's a demo or uh, maybe a pack-in version of the game. I'll have to find out. Uh, got an Ultimate Alliance and Wii Sports Resort empty cases. And then Sonic Spinball and Rystar empty boxes. It's a real bummer that uh, Rystar is empty. I think Rystar is a, it's like a $30-$40 game right now um, with the box. Uh, Sonic Spinball in general isn't really worth much. I figured I'd grab it. And uh, that was it. Um, so for that stuff I don't think I paid more than $10. Uh, with like, I, don't know, I think I've maybe, maybe picked up like 80 something CD cases and blank CDs. Uh, so yeah, that was it. Next week, who who really knows? Uh, this week, I guess I'm going to have to go hit all the thrift stores. Throughout the summer, I usually, usually don't go to all the stores that I normally would because of yard sales. And uh, I like to free up a little bit of time. But um, looks like it's going to be back to the thrift stores like three to four days a week. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how we do then. Uh, so like, subscribe, comment, share, and uh, see everyone next week. Bye.